Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's a big week. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the fitness journey, of course. Uh, this week is a little bit different because we're going to be competing this weekend coming up. When you see this video, you will see at the end of it my actual match, I think, results. So look forward to that at the end of the video. Make sure you stick around that, that long. But this week is about recovery. So you're gonna see a little bit of a, a workout today, a little bit of a workout tomorrow with weights, mostly cardio all week, but all geared towards recovery and getting ready and being 100% and ready to compete in arm wrestling this weekend. I've got Robbie Burnett on the right arm. I've got Nicholas Adams on the left arm down in Dallas, Texas. And it's gonna be a weird one because I'm actually flying. Uh, I don't get there till like 11.30 at night on Friday. I compete on Saturday and I leave at like seven in the morning on Sunday. So. Jet lag hopefully is not that big of a factor, but I'm also gonna be doing some research and showing you how I'm gonna get through that when I get there. But uh, immediately going to ta Texas and going to bed is one thing. Getting up competing and not having much time to do anything, turn around, come back home, hang out with some friends Saturday night uh, at the arm wrestling tournament, and maybe even jump into the open tournament. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for the rest of the week plus um, the arm wrestling at the end, but we're doing the usual three cold exposures, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, five minutes in ice cold water in the shower, sauna every day this week. And I actually did some of that on Saturday as well, which is out of the ordinary, but we're making sure we're recovered and I feel ready to compete for the first time in a long time. What's up everybody, we're back in the sauna. It is Tuesday on the week that I compete. So we actually did a workout this morning. We did shoulders and back, um, light kind of push pull style, superset several times, half an hour cardio rest of the week. I've got tomorrow and I've got Thursday and I'll do 45 minutes of cardio each day. And that will be it on Friday. I fly to Texas. It's going to be a challenge because uh, they booked me on a flight where I have a connection in Toronto. So recovery is going to be um, about all I can do to get ready to compete on Saturday. And what that means is like I'm gonna not only going to be fully recovering from training, I'm going to be recovering from jet lag in a very quick manner. So I'm probably going to take my hydrogen flask down there and the mission will be... Um, hydration and nutrition the second I hit the ground in Toronto and then as soon as I hit the ground in Dallas and then that morning waking up and making sure I've got all the right things in my body so I can compete at the highest level possible and uh hope you all stay in stay tuned with me I will definitely be posting a link for that but I will also be posting some footage hopefully right here on this video so Wish me luck. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Two days to go to compete, 45 minutes cardio, cold therapy this morning, sauna in the evening. Hey everybody, just starting off, it is the sauna session, um, 20 minutes, and we are gonna have to up this because we almost ran out of time. But this is the last sauna session, it's Thursday. I'm gonna do cold therapy tomorrow morning on Friday before I go to Winnipeg to get on an airplane and fly to Toronto and then to Dallas, Texas, where I will be competing in two super matches on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Um, but this will be the last clip that you're gonna see in the fitness journey until I actually am in Texas. So it's Thursday night, we'll be traveling tomorrow. So all the training, all the prep, all the things you do to get ready. And it's derailed with Air Canada canceling not one but two flights. The original plus the one they rescheduled you for. 
and you end up taking a completely different route, flying through Phoenix and not getting into Dallas until at least 12.30. Uh, right in the middle of the night with no layover time in between uh, flights in Phoenix. So, had a shitty airport meal and a couple protein bars here in Winnipeg because I've been sitting here for six hours minimum. And now I'm about to get on the first flight. So, all that uh, prep all out the window. Hopefully we can pull it together, have a decent breakfast and not have a body full of inflammation by the time I compete tomorrow. And um, we'll do what we can, but I am like on the fence of just walking right out of here and going home. So it's about 1.30. to 1.30 in the morning here in Dallas, Texas. We're in the room. Nice enough room. We uh, have no choice but to use Uber Eats. So I got McDonald's on the way because that's all that I can find that's open. All right, everybody, I'm showing you this because in the mirror, because this happened today at the event, I have uh, appeared to rupture my right tricep. So if you can see the mass that is there by tomorrow, it'll probably be a, a whole bunch of different colors, but there it is. So, my thoughts originally about coming to Texas and having that weird travel situation. And then when I mentioned that I will always have uh, risk of injury from travel inflammation, well, here we are. I have uh, torn, I think, the distal head of my right tricep when pulling Robbie and the match was one to one, actually did it on a win. So Robbie wins the match. This will be the last video for this fitness challenge, but uh, well, actually the second last because this video will tell you that I injured my tricep very, very badly. So the next week is gonna be kind of the start of that comeback, whether it's surgery or what, but I'll be going into the Pan Am Clinic one of these days this week basically camping out there so I can see a doctor first thing in the morning and get the ball rolling on this, uh, which I think is the distal uh, the distal tendon rupture in my right tricep. But fair warning, the next video you see is actually the match where it happened. So if you wanna keep watching, you're about to see it. If you don't wanna see that, stop the video right now. You just, see, he you, just is able you, to shoot you. in right there. Oh right no. There. You